Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is October the 9th, 2020. Let's talk NFL football. Let's throw out three picks for this coming week. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Well, somebody has to do it. I'm going to do it. Dwayne Haskins is out. The Washington football team is in disarray. They're playing at home against the explosive Ram defense. What could possibly go wrong? I'm taking the home team. I'm taking the Washington football team getting seven points. One of the stories with this team, besides the fact that they're very well coached, Ron Rivera is an excellent coach, but one of the things about that Washington football team is that they have great defense. Folks, they have, believe it or not, one of the best defenses in the National Football League. Also, they have depth at quarterback, right? Alex Smith is still on the roster. I understand he's coming back from injury. I understand he's further down on the depth chart. But just knowing that he's there, knowing that the Rams are making another trip back east and might take this game for granted because of all the problems Washington has had. Um, I like the home team, the Washington football team, and their defense getting seven points. Next, I like on the road, a team that has me convinced, the Cincinnati Bengals getting 12 and a half points over the Baltimore Ravens, right? You know, I believe the Lamar Jackson honeymoon has slowed down quite a bit. He's not running as much as he did last year. Teams have adjusted to him. Teams now circle Baltimore on the schedule. Understand, Jackson is the reigning NFL MVP. Players want to make their name playing against him. Let's also look at the Bengals. I know the defense is better than the offense, but the offense has some players who've been underachieving. A.J. Green, for example. Keep in mind, even without A.J. Green being A.J. Green, Joe Burrow's been throwing for 300 yards almost every week. Then, of course, you have Joe Mixon. Wow. Mixon, who is one of Bill Belichick's favorite players. Deserves that designation. He looks great. So, in a divisional game, right, the Ravens and Bengals play each other twice every year. In other words, the Bengals would know all about Lamar Jackson. In a divisional game, they're giving you 12 and a half points. I like the underdog there. I like the Bengals getting 12 and a half points. Finally, look, I know Seattle and Russell Wilson are clicking on offense. There's no question about that. But they're not clicking on defense. And they're playing a team that offensively is loaded. Right? I like Kirk Cousins and the Minnesota Vikings on the road in Seattle getting seven points. Folks, the line is simply too big. I think also there was a change of pattern with Seattle. They had Russell Wilson in mothballs until this year. Now they're allowing him to throw deep early and often, right? I believe teams are going to make adjustments. I'm not saying Minnesota's defense has looked stellar, but their head coach is a defensive guru. And I believe the league is going to adjust eventually to all of the touchdowns that Russell Wilson has been throwing, right? Russell Wilson, I believe, just tied Peyton Manning's record for the most touchdowns to start a year after four games. Uh, I believe that gets dampened a bit. At a minimum, um, I think Kirk Cousins and the Vikings should be able to keep up with Minnesota's offense, excuse me, with Seattle's offense. So to sum up, I like the Washington football team at home getting seven points. 
against the Rams. I like the Bengals on the road getting 12 and a half points against the Ravens. And I like Minnesota on the road getting seven points against the Seahawks. Those are the three games I like. Let me know what you think. Let me know what games you like in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.